Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create a website using Unreal Engine via something called Pixel Canvas. It is basically using Unreal Engine to create web immersive web experiences that you can control. Basically, 50 people can be in a room together virtually, walking around, interacting, having conversations. This is great for webinars, presentations, concerts, events, education, sales. Um, it hosts a lot of features. This is Unreal Engine 5 high quality definition on the browser. How does that work? Because it's cloud-based rendering, so it's not using your GPU to render. Instead, it's using a technology called pixel streaming, which allows for the render to happen on a super powerful computer on the cloud, but your, your browser just receives the video. Um, you can do live streaming, event, multiplayer interactions, e-commerce. Um, it has great security features and it is just like having a game inside of your website. You can use avatars, Ready Player Me avatars, so you can customize it and your Ready Player Me avatar that you've customized on a previous game could follow you into this kind of metaverse platform. So enough talking about how this works. So once you subscribe, which it's not inexpensive, it's about $1,000 a month. So we're talking about $1,200, $12,000 a year for creating this kind of metaverse experience. But once you have access and you're logged in, then you get access to this amazing editor. So right on my browser, I'm gonna edit an experience. So I wanna create my own pixel canvas immersive world. And you go again to edwinrogers.com, you can see this, demo this and try it out. So as soon as it loads, you're gonna get simple instructions. Right here, you're seeing the instructions. They are saying, hey, you gotta use your AWS um, keys, AW, SD keys, similar to like playing a video game. You can use your arrow keys to rotate and your mouse. So there's different ways of, of going about and uh, your Q&E keys to, or to, to rotate and orientate. Okay, so the experience is loaded. Again, it is running on the browser. So now you can use your mouse. And if I click and drag, I can rotate, see the Ready Player Me avatar that's a representation of me, and kind of see this kind of conference world. Obviously, there's different um, environments, but you can customize this to your brand. Um, so if you want to walk around, you see this circle, you can tap and click, and then it'll follow exactly where you tapped so you can get around that way. There's some game kind of tokens that you can create um, gamifying the experience. If you don't want to have an avatar running around, but instead you want to have a just third person view, you can customize it and just do third person view instead, which is something that I like. So this is the experience. Now, when you're in your editor, you can add images, add different um, kind of links to things. So you would just go to, let's say, a panel where there is a where these plus icons are that allow you to upload an image and then add an ink link to that image. And I'll show you how that works. So really quickly, let me see if I have any images. Have much on this. Just random screenshots. Let's see. 
Okay, I guess I will upload this image, kind of AI generated background. And then I could grab a link and say, I wanted to link this to Edwin Rogers. Uh, yeah, I think I have to formulate that as a valid URL. Oops, made a mistake. There you go. And then I could just make the link text anything, add a description. you go hit confirm and so now on that pillar just back up with the AWS I'm using the AWS keys or the arrow keys and then you can see that image when you are in the experience and you click on this image right now you're in the editor things automatically publish but if I went to um, load the experience so metaverse preview right here which I have this already here this is the landing page you get there's all these different tabs over here and I'll explain that in a little bit but basically what this does is allow you to chat with other people um, have a video conferencing kind of like a zoom interaction in here um, create rooms uh, and that's really really robust this is basically designed for kind of a conference it was created basically during the pandemic when people couldn't actually go to physical conferences and so these virtual conferences were created and this is how pixel canvas came about so that's what it is at its roots so this might take a little bit to load All right, great. And so, like I said, you get this loading screen right here. And then it's loading all the assets. It's loading my Ready Player Me avatar based on my preferences. It just remembers them. And now I'm going to go back to the where we were in the editor. See, it looks very similar and the same. Let's see, now you don't see the plus icon because obviously you're a visitor, you're not a, able to customize the experience. This is the experience, let me close this. This is the editor, the 3D editor. So without code, without knowing Unreal Engine, you can edit an Unreal Engine environment. And so that's why it has different places where you can change things. But when you're in the experience itself, and you click on the image, you see the image, you see that description that I wrote, you see the link to my website, which works. And you could see how you can use this to kind of direct towards special offers and sales and marketing your brand in a very unique and, and special way. And go back. And again, if you go to edwinrogers.com and you click right here, you can find out more about the pricing for this and how to get started with this. If you want to demo the platform, just go to this Unreal Engine website demo metaverse, and then it'll take you to this link that, and that's right here. So anyway, I'm going to walk around. And I made a couple of updates the way I kind of wanted this space to look. And I'm going to show you a little bit about how you can customize this. So I'm going to walk a little further. I think I have too much stuff open, so it's starting to lag. I'm going to close some things. I mean, you, you get the, the sense of what the experience looks like when you're not an editor, but this time I kind of wanted to 
link to one of my videos on YouTube, my workshops, web, web design workshops, and could change the, the colors of this booth. So this one is one color, but then if I go to another booth, also when I get closer, you start to hear the music or the audio. And that audio is coming from this video. So when we were far away, we didn't hear this video, but this is like an AI generated um, jazz music. And uh, I wanted to incorporate it with AI generated art. And um, so as you're, when you're really close to it, you hear the music, but when you walk away, it, you don't hear it. I think that's a really cool touch. So this is another kind of booth and these booths just appear in um, the, the editor. So I'm going to close this and show you a little bit about how to customize these booths. Close this up. 